I say baseline, I mean male versus female. Your age, your historical weight, and your historical body fat, your, even your body type. For example, you may have been a leaner person genetically. You may have been an overweight person slightly genetically. Those are going to affect certain things. For example, there is some research suggesting that different people have different amounts of carb tolerance. So a lean person may be able to eat more carbs and gain less fat than someone who's less carb tolerant. That's just an unfair fact. The other thing is your age and your gender. Obviously, your 22-year-old body is going to be different from your 52-year-old body. There are many women I know that they're doing fine in their 20s, 30s, and 40s, and then they hit menopause, suddenly gain weight despite eating right and working out. And plenty of men that reach out to me in their mid to late 30s, as soon as they get really sedentary, maybe their sleep is getting messed up from having kids, they're pounding back three cups of coffee a day, or they're having a drink every night, and they're noticing the belly fat creep up. What also matters is your body type to begin with. For example, some people, they have a lot of fat accumulation from their waist down. This is kind of that stereotypical pear-shaped body. Now for other people though, they're pretty lean. So the very first thing here for losing belly fat is to understand where your baseline is. Are you naturally leaner? Are you naturally slightly more overweight? What gender are you and what age are you? Because these are all gonna be factors that come into play. The second thing